so as I mentioned in my previous video, I had a reason for wearing this watch uh, this week. As you can tell from the background here, it's, it's not my usual backdrop. I'm actually on vacation this week, and this is my vacation watch. Uh, in the past nine years I've owned this watch. I've, uh, every time I've gone on vacation, I've worn this watch. Uh, you can see the background there. It'll be a little shot at the background. But, uh, down here in Florida, it's some kind of hotel with a water park type deal. So anyway, uh, the reason why I wear this watch is, is uh, it's a dive watch, so it can get wet. Uh, the pool, you know, you can pretty much wear any watch in the pool, but uh, this one for sure not going to get damaged or anything. Uh, like I said, I wore this watch pretty much every vacation I've been on the past nine years. Uh, it's a great watch for that because it is robust. Uh, if something happens to it, you know, it didn't cost me that much. It was, I think I paid $130 for it uh, nine years ago. Now it's a $300 watch, or actually I think it's 260 on rubber. And it was like 3.30 on the bracelet, uh, probably because it's been discontinued. That was on Amazon. I'll take it off wrist here and give you a little better look at it again. Sorry about the filming location here, trying to find an area that's a little more quiet. So you can see it's taken some nicks and some beating over the years. Uh, I really don't have too many complaints about this watch, just, just uh, it's a little bit thick. For what it is, it's 13 or 13 and a half thick. No lug width is 22. Lug to lug is 46, and uh, case size is 42 millimeter. The only thing I've done to this watch is replace the crystal with sapphire, since the hard lux got scratched up pretty badly. So that's another complaint I have with this watch is, is the hard lux crystal. So I'm really not planning on changing anything in this watch. Uh, I'm not even going to polish it. All the nicks and, and scratches just adds character to it. Bracelet definitely has some stretch going on to it. But I, I really like this bracelet. It, it pretty much melts on the wrist. So, it's been a great watch. So, let me know if you guys have a vacation watch as well. And also, uh, since we're in Orlando here, we, we stopped at a uh, shopping center. The uh, Disney Springs Shopping Center, and there's actually a watch store in there, so I was able to stop in while my rest of my family was at some other stores. Didn't have much time to spend in there. But I'll show you uh, a watch that I was surprised to see. I took a picture on my phone here. Let me pull that up here in a minute. So, and I'm taking a picture of a picture. Uh, let me try and zoom in set this down here so I actually saw Ulysses Narden Freak I was really surprised to see this watch I never thought I would see this watch in person uh, sorry for the bad picture here but uh they actually had quite a few watches at this store I made a list here They had Breitling, uh, Hublot, which I don't really care about, Ulysses Narden, Zenith, Bremont, Tissot, Tag Heuer, Citizen, some uh, pre-owned Rolex, which I actually did try a few on. I never uh, got to handle Rolex before. The, they had a Datejust, 90s Datejust for 7,000. It's a 36 millimeter watch. And then they had some uh, Oyster Perpetual Date for six thousand. The they had about forty Rolex watches there. Half of them were women's watches, and then maybe ten of them were all blinged out. They had diamonds, uh, diamond insert, diamond bezels, which I really didn't care for. Um, the the date just the thirty six millimeter was actually a good size for me. The sales lady commented on that as well. She said, oh, you have small wrist. This looks good on you. Felt that might have been a little backhanded compliment. Um, anyway, oh, the, I, so I also checked out an El Primero, the 38 millimeter. That was 6700 And the um, 
the freak that I had mentioned. I uh, I forgot exactly how the conversation came about, but I, I basically guessed at the price, and I, I said, "Oh, that's probably what fifty thousand." And the sales lady said, uh, "Actually, it's forty-eight, so I was pretty close." This one here, um, it doesn't have a crown, so you wind it, I think, with the case back, and then I think you adjust the time with with the bezel. I saw a video on that on Watchfinder and Co. Uh, Watchfinder YouTube channel. So anyway, it's a real cool watch. It's got a tourbillon in here and the whole movement moves around. So like I said, I was real surprised to see that. And I think that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching.